Hello Stamper! Welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today I'm going to share with you a fun card. I cannot stop laughing here. I'm going to share with you how to turn the cow into a bowl. So, um, I'm laughing even more because, to be honest with you, I thought that only bull at horns, but I've been educated by Michelle that also the female get horns, so we're all good there. So let's get starting. So for this, uh, it's a few ways that we can do this, but here is my favorite or the one that I think turn out good every time. So I take a piece of tape and this is called masking. So I'm taking my tape, put it here and you're gonna say why in the heck uh, a wedding card for with the cows well I'm going to a wedding to Megan and um, she's very country girl oops a uh, country girl and a cow lover she was the roommate with uh, Nico in private school and uh, her wedding it's um, the cake topper it is cow so I thought, hmm, I have to do this. So I'm going to explain a little bit more about how i done this. So now I got the tape to uh, cover the other there, the, the little milking part there. So I'm going to ink this here. And I'm using Memento ink just because I want to um, use blends. And I'm going to stamp that right here. Voila. You're going to say, well, my goodness, what happened to his belly? It gets chopped off. I'm using the right marker, the black, and I'm just going to finish this here. Sometimes I get a little bit less finish this time, but see, boom, it looked perfectly fine. Now, I wanted my bowl with orange, so absolutely. So I go right at the bottom of the year, and I do like a half moon. And I go about, oh, just a little bit about the his little toupet there. That's a French word. It's a little poof on his head. And we're going to bring that almost like a banana, right? Here we go. So I got a nice uh, uh, horn there. Now we're going to come right here and do again half moon. And then I'm going to come here in the center here about and go there so look at that very simple so i took the female cow so that would be the cow to a bull that simple now for the female i didn't add the other there i didn't think it was a must so now i feel this card was very good for the wedding card that i'm going like i said who would have thought that over the moon would have been a wedding card? So I use the polka dot uh, ribbon here, and I just did a, note, a, a knot and put it right there. I put a little bit of eyelashes to her eyes. I put some red for her lips, lit a little bit of a cheek. And her wedding also, it's sunflower, and it's going to be right in the field. I cannot wait to experience that. So inside, I put for a special couple, congratulation, and I use the Dizzy Punch to do like my sunflower. So that's how I done this. All it's col uh, color with uh, blends. So really, today it was how to switch the cow to the bull. Hope this technique helps you. Oh, one more thing. Many people are going to say, why not just uh, stamping? I mean, inking. And then you could always take um, um, Q tips and, you know, really clean that. And usually I would uh, wet my Q tips. But it doesn't matter how I try it. I try over and over to clean that and see what's going to happen. So I'm going to come here, stamp this, see, 
because I cannot really rub more. I still see those little uh, thing there, the, the otter. I got a tough time seeing that, but it's no H, I guess. So that's why I prefer the tape, the ma the scotch tape, or you can use post-it note. You just want to do little piece. The more you're going to go right on to cover it, the less you have to draw. So that is my main reason why I don't do it. I mean, I still can see it and that's bugged me. So this is it for today, my friends. So think outside the box. Who would have thought, you know, over the moon for a winning card? You never know what you're going to need your stamp set for. Thank you so much. And all the detail and supplies will be listed on my blog. Just click below. The direct link are above in the eye. Have a lovely day. Till next time, happy stamping.